What are the secrets to staying lean effortlessly 24 7, 365 days of the year? Right, this is me not tensing, right? Now I'm tensing. Now I'm not tensing. So, how do you stay lean with like good muscle mass? Like, if I take off my shirt, like, how do you stay lean and muscular 24 7? <laughs> it feels weird taking my shirt off, by the way. But anyway, how do you stay lean? One of my secrets is intermittent fasting, okay? So not eating for 16 hours a day. That's how I do it, 16-8, okay? And when I first started, I was doing 16-8, then I did 18-6, then I did 24, okay? So that means 20 hours fast, four hours eating window to eat one meal, okay? And I would eat a massive buffet. So, but you don't have to do that, right? You, you just start with 16 hours. So you eat your meals in eight-hour windows every day. Okay, most people do it the opposite. Most people eat for 16 hours and sleep for eight. What we're doing is we're not eating for 16, we're eating for eight. Okay, so other way around. All right, so I'm going to put my shirt on because <laughs> it's weird. Like I'm in this space of helping people get in the best shape of their life and feel comfortable taking their shirt off. But I actually feel weird now taking my shirt off, which is weird because I'm in great shape. But it's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess I got to talk to my therapist about that one. <laughs> but anyways, I digress. So intermittent fasting is one of my biggest secrets, biggest weapons for helping people get in the best shape of their life. Now, it's not enough to just know intermittent fasting. Like, you have to have experience. I've been doing this for six years, okay? So I have a lot of experience with fasting as it relates to keeping your shape and getting in shape in the first place. Right, so when I started, I couldn't see my abs, and now my abs, I can see them every single day. Right, yeah. and one of the biggest secrets is fasting. So, sixteen hours a day. So, what it looks like is I don't eat breakfast. Right, I rarely eat breakfast unless I'm staying at a really nice hotel and I got a nice buffet. Then I'll, I'll eat some breakfast. But usually, I've trained myself to not get hungry in the mornings. And the way you do that is by not eating breakfast over a sustained period of time. And then your hunger levels will normalize and then they'll spike at the right time, which is, for me, lunch and dinner. So I'm eating lunch and dinner every day and that's it, okay? So I have a big meal at lunch, big meal at dinner. And that's me done. Sometimes if I'm training really heavy or if I'm, if I'm on a rest day and I feel like really hungry because my metabolism is revving up because of my training that I'm doing just three times a week, then I'll have three meals, okay? So it just depends. And I've trained my body to be intuitive at eating. So I eat when I'm, when I'm hungry, okay? So I don't limit my calorie intake and all that crap that other people will tell you. I'm not on that calories in train. I'm not on that calories train. Like I don't, I don't really place any importance on that because of how I eat, right? So I'm eating animal protein. So I know approximately how much calories I'm getting. And I know when I feel like I haven't eaten enough, right? So it's not about weighing my food. It's about feel. I'm, I'm more intuitive. I'm feeling, oh, I'm, I'm feeling, I, I felt like I haven't eaten enough today. Like I know that feeling so well. So I don't need to rely on numbers to validate and, and, go by the numbers on, oh, how I'm eating. Like, I, I can connect with my brain on how I'm, how I'm feeling, right? So that's a big distinction. And this is why a lot, lots of people just don't get in shape and don't maintain it because they're just relying on the calories to tell them how to eat. It's like, no, you have to, at, at some point in your life, you have to gain mastery over your food. Like, you have to. It's, if you want to be in, in the best shape of your life and maintain that for the rest of your life, you need to understand how your body reacts to your hunger cues, like you need to be in tune with this stuff. Like I am acutely aware of when I need to eat and when I don't need to eat. People who are not getting the results they want don't know that. Like they don't actually know, oh, am I hungry now? I don't know if I'm hungry. See, this is the problem. Like are you hungry or are you, are you bored? You know, making that distinction. Are you hungry or are you bored? That's a good one. <coughs> I'll make a video on that. So yeah, intermittent fasting is amazing and it's very easily, you can start it by just literally, how I start people on it is by not going in feet first and deep end, dipping your toe in the water first. So what I did when I first started was I would go, let's say I ate breakfast at 8 a.m. Okay, next day, 9 a.m. eating breakfast. Next day, 10 a.m. Every day, push breakfast back by one hour. Before you know it, you're at 1 p.m. and you're not hungry. Okay, but in the first two weeks, it's going to suck. No, no question. Like, because you're used to eating three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So when you first start, you're going to be like, oh, fuck, this is hard. I'm really hungry. But you got to, again, mental strength. Know that 
when you're hungry, you're not going to die if you don't eat. This is what I used to think. I used to think, fuck. Like when I was at school, when my parents used to tell me, Aaron, you need to eat your breakfast, eat your cereal, eat your cereal every day. Right? Some days I'd leave, I'd be late for school and I wouldn't eat my cereal and I'd be fine. But my parents would be like, no, you need to eat breakfast, you need to eat cereal, it's the most important meal of the day. And that's where that programming came from. And I just believed it until I got older and I realized, actually, on the days that I didn't actually eat breakfast, I was fine. Like, I didn't die, you know? I was, I was a bit hungry, but yeah, I, I was fine. And I used to think that if I didn't eat food when I was hungry, I would die. And so that whole, I need to eat, I'm hungry, I need to eat. But actually, when you start fasting, you realize that hunger spikes and hunger dips. It's like a, it's like a chart like this, like a, like, a, like a stock chart. It goes up and it goes down, right? And it doesn't last forever. So you might be hungry now, but in an hour's time, you're not hungry, right? Because the spike is gone. The ghrelin hormone has gone down. And ghrelin is the hormone that is responsible for your appetite, right? Like spiking hunger levels and stuff. So once you do intermittent fasting, it's going to build that mental strength. And you're going to build a better relationship with your hormones, like with your body. Like, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm noticing that I'm, I'm more focused now because I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten for 16 hours. My brain is, is focusing more. Because this goes back to evolutionary times, right? Like when we were hunter-gatherers. When we were f without food, your brain, what happens is when you go without food for longer than 16 hours, your hormonal balance starts changing. You'll start producing more adrenaline, more norepinephrine, because, and you start increasing human growth hormone because your brain is like, shit, I need to get you ready to attack, to kill the prey so you can eat, so you can feed me. So I need to get you ready, so I need to get you sharp. So your brain actually becomes sharper when you fast. It's the craziest thing. But the human body is the most magnif magnificent machine ever invented. And once you start intermittent fasting, you will realize that you're not only going to lose belly fat, that's easy, but you're going to actually build mental strength. And that is going to be infectious into every area of your life, positively impacting every area of your life. The more mental fortitude that you have as a result of abstaining from food for a certain amount of time. And uh, I can't speak highly enough of, of, of this. And it's so crazy because this is like free. You don't, it doesn't cost any money to do this. But people would rather go and pay for fat freezing or all, all this other liposuction or all this crap, right? Because it's an instant result. And I understand the psychology behind that. Of course, it's instant, right? Like if you could, if I, if you could pay $5,000 right now and have a six pack, you would do it, right? But that's not, that's not going to be long lasting, right? Like you need to build these habits and that's what's going to help you last the longest with this and have permanent change not just a few not just a, a half an hour change with liposuction right i know a lot of people i know a few people who have got liposuction and uh they they instantly lost respect lost my respect because it's like do the work man do the work because it's not only about the satisfaction you have with yourself but it's also about the respect respect that you have for yourself right for, and, and other people are going to respect you uh differently when they realize wow you put in the work that's something i can't take you can't take away from yourself like you put in the work for this you worked for this and again it's healthier as well long term okay so intermittent fasting is amazing i stand by it it's yeah it's something that i prescribe to most people unless you're really stressed if you're really stressed right now i don't prescribe fasting because fasting is actually a stressor on the body all right so if you're super stressed super overwhelmed right now I will not prescribe fasting to you. But again, this is based on where you are at right now in your life, what you're doing, and what your routine is like, okay? So again, if you want to know if you should be fasting, go ahead and click the link below this video, and you can go ahead and apply for coaching, and then we can get on the phone and talk about your situation, and we can help you get from where you are to where you want to be, and you can join our program with other like-minded people just like yourself, and then we can get you going. Okay, if that doesn't sound like something good for you, you just want to know what to do, when to do it, and how much to eat, and all that kind of stuff, go ahead and get our program below this video in the description. You can get access to the program, and that's the flagship course that I've made with all the knowledge I'm telling you now, plus more in that program, so you can go ahead and get in the best shape of your life and maintain it. This is the key thing here. It's like permanent change. Like, we want to maintain it. We don't want to go back to being fat. Like, you want to maintain it. And how do you do that? It's by understanding these key principles like intermittent fasting is one of them, but you need to have that mindset. You need to increase your self-image so that you're the person that has the six-pack, not the person that has the belly around, the, the, the belly fat and the, the flabby arms and stuff like that, all right? So 
Go ahead and click the links in the description for more information, more support. And I'm looking forward to welcoming you into the program soon. And my name is Aaron. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.